Okay, this is my homemade night vision. Shooting the GoPro Hero 3 Black, 1080p wide, 30 frames per second. Um, you can see I have the, the basis for the functionality of this night vision is not true night vision, but you can see the infrared was kind of turning the camera purple. And you can see through the camera lens or the, the, the camera processor that the infrared illuminator is working. Um, there's an infrared illuminator, a Sony CCD camera, um, doesn't have an infrared filter on it. And that's really the basis of how this thing works. And there's a little backup camera screen that I got off of Amazon for 20 bucks. Um, got it fixed onto camo hat and we're gonna call this one Cajun night vision see gonna make some improvements to it kind of awkward right now I want to put it on a hard hat or something or get some video goggles but this is just a prototype so that's how it looks in the light. We're gonna give it a darkness test. If I can carry this battery with me. Runs off of 12 volts. It's made for a car backup camera like I was saying. Okay, we do have some light coming in from the hallway. But, as you can see, it's a dark room. And, uh, let's see if this thing will focus. You can see the spotlight on my guitar. Take away the screen, darkness. Okay, well, here's something that we can't pass up. Okay, you can kind of see my LSU um, decoration here. Yeah, it's like I got a reflection off the glass. Oh well. Notice how the screen becomes color once we get into actual light. Okay, we're just walking around the whole house. It's pretty dark in here. Front door, dining room table. Take away the screen, complete darkness. Back to the screen. And really, really having some issues with the bright light, but you get the point. Um, let's look up at the chandelier. Yeah, you see a little bit of light coming in the curtain. Okay, kitchen time. See, it puts off a pretty good little beam. Let's go, um, go check outside. Now we live kind of back in the, in the sticks a little bit. It's not much light out here, except for the moon. See, here's the without the night vision. And here's with it. There's uh, some issues here. Here's my backyard. You can see. This is horrible. I apologize for the horrible video skills. And there's my shed in the back. That's probably about 30 feet away. The fence is probably 40. There's a tree. Works pretty good. And here's without the screen again. You can't see nothing. Let's see. 
should be an excellent tool to, to go hunting. See up the tree. If there were any coons up there, you'd see the you'd see their eyes shining pretty bright. I chose not to shoot at 60 frames per second because it really wouldn't matter. Uh, really a horrible, horrible setup. But anyhow, um, there's the moon. All right. Well, if, if I make some improvements to my setup, I'll do an update. But for the most part, it's a pretty cool device. Once I make it not so cumbersome to wear, then uh, yeah, maybe a lot more useful. Definitely works better than a Gen One uh, night vision, um, just because you can't see nothing of them Gen Ones. It's like a fish eye lens. This is a lot better. And we'll talk to you later.